Hello, and welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom. And thank you very much for watching our videos. And today we're going to cook us up some uh, pimento cheese cheeseburgers. <laughs> and we're going to use this Lifton soup and the uh, burgers. And some, we're going to add mayonnaise right into the burgers. And so we're going to mix them all up. And so we'll mix these up and then we'll try to make quarter pounders out of them. Of course, they're going to be a little bit heavier than a quarter pounder after I added some other stuff to them. So let me get everything unwrapped and get started and we'll be back. Okay, I'll we'll put my hamburger in this bowl here. And by the way, this is a 90% lean, 10% uh, fat burger or ground beef, whatever you want to call it. Put that in there like that. Now we'll use a half of this bag of Lipton uh, onion soup here. We'll try to get about half a bag. So, put that down in there like that. It looks about like half of it. Okay, now we'll about a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise. Let's see. And it looks about like a quarter of a cup. Put that there for the time being to get everything out of our way. Now we're going to mix all this up and uh, get it ready to go here. Just keep on mixing it till it all looks like it's incorporated together, you know, just because you want it to uh, be about even, you know, so everything's about to, all of it will be about the same. I'll tell you what, this sort of smell good just the way it is. So, right, we'll just take it out and heat it up and start eating. <laughs> uh -huh. well, that's looking pretty good right here now. Now I'm just going to try to make me a big ball here so I can cut it up a little bit. Put it out on the cutting board and we'll be back. Okay, now I've got my mixture down here on this little flexible mat here. And I'm going to try it like I said, I just got this on a little ball here. And we'll try to get it as much as I can in the middle. Looks pretty close, and just do it like that. All right, and then come over here and do it again. And do this one the same way. Now, those are all done now. Let's see if we can get them into a, make a little ball out of each one of them here. See how they look. These are going to be some good burgers, folks. If you want your neighbors to come over a whole lot, feed them one of these. If you don't want them coming by quite often, don't let them ever see one of them. <laughs> That's the way you have to do it. Alright, now we're about ready to start forming these into regular hamburgers here. Okay, now I've got my little press here. And I'm going to... Uh, Lay it right down there on that mat like that and put it close to the middle of this press I can get it. Take the top, put it down on here. 
and try to get it right about, about as good about as even as you can you know take a look at it oh, I still just a little bit more now I don't know if y'all can see it or not but well now you can see it well, that's a neat looking burger right there isn't it Okay, I'm going to scoop it up and bring it over here to my Ninja Foodie Deluxe and set it right down in this crisper basket. And get ready to do another one here. Like I say, just put your little ring down there and then set it in the middle of it. Take your top here. And just push straight straight down on it. And that's alright if you got a little if you look and you got well that one's not doing too good because I didn't I gotta start over on that one. So because I didn't have my outer ring down good. And so it started coming out around the bottom of it. That's what happens when you don't have your bottom ring down good. So put it down there like that. Now, push down on it. And you can tell when you look at it like this, you can tell about if it's even thickness, you know. And that's what you're looking for, having about even thickness. All right. Let's take this one over here and put it in there. Okay, now as you can see, we've got three of them down in this Ninja Foodie Deluxe that I ain't trouble at all. And I could have crowded the fourth one down in there, but I don't. I don't see any use in crowding it in there. We'll just uh, cook it when these are finished or cook it at a later date. And so now the next thing we got to do, come over here and shut the door and turn on the power. And that's where we'll go to 390 at 20 minutes on air crisp for, by default. I'm just going to hit the start button and let it go and I'm not sure this this is a little bit different texture and moisture than I'm used to cooking burgers at so we'll see uh, we'll keep eye on it and see how long it's going to take them to cook okay now I just checked with Google and you know Google's never wrong and they said <laughs> The internal temperature for a hamburger should be around 160 degrees. Well, I just now checked the temperature on these and they're 145, so I guess we better let them go just another little minute or two. But now it's only been 10 minutes at uh, 390 degrees. Well, I've got a chance if y'all can. Join our channel and give us a thumbs up. We sure would appreciate it. And thank you very much to all you folks that watches our videos. So we'll be back in a couple minutes now. Okay, now I just want y'all to see these. These are 160 degrees now. You can see I could have got the fourth one in there easily, no problem at all. So <clears throat> we're fixing to take these out and cook them up here. Now we've got our uh, ballpark uh, uh, buns in the toaster here. We're going to toast them up a little bit and then we'll go fix them up. Okay, now we've got uh, <clears throat> that's K's there. We've got fermented cheese on it. Bring over this delicious looking juicy, juicy, juicy burger here. Put it right in the middle of it like that. Ah, that's starting to look good, isn't it? Okay, now I've got my burger here on that uh, pimento cheese there. I'll we'll put me a little piece of lettuce on here. No, I'm not. We'll put me a piece of tomato on here first. Like that, and I'm going to put a little salt on that tomato. I'm going to put this piece of crispy lettuce on here. Hmm. And there's the top. Now that's a good looking burger, isn't it? That's a new one on me. So, I'll give it a try here. See if I can get a bite of it 
Okay, and that's about it for this little short video. I hope y'all enjoyed watching it as good as I enjoyed making it for you. Because it tastes almost halfway finished with her burger, and I ain't even tried mine yet. That sure is a good burger. I want to tell you right now, I really intend on us making our own pimento cheese and uh, stupid me picked up the wrong kind of cheese at the store the other day so maybe in the future we can make us up some uh, pimento cheese because I'm eager to, uh, to see which one tastes like what you know so anyway until next time y'all have a real good and safe day and thanks again for watching if you can give us a thumbs up and join our channel and so until next time Goodbye now.